Welcome to Sushi Chill and Grill. My name is Jan, and this is what we're gonna make today. Garlic Honey Tenders. Now we're gonna start with the garlic, and I used four cloves. There are many ways to prepare garlic, but for this dish I like to cut it myself. You can use a garlic press if you like, and if you don't have one, buy one. But I like to cut it in chunks, not real fine. Just you have to really taste it in the dish, so don't cut it too fine. I bought these beautiful pork tenderloins. Oh man, they're really beautiful. And we're gonna season them with salt and with black pepper. And of course, we're gonna do both sides for maximum flavors. Now the pork is prepped, we're gonna make the sauce. And of course, for a good sauce, we need some sear on the meat first. So I'm gonna use some sesame oil and we're gonna put in the pork. And really let that simmer for about three minutes on each side. We're gonna take the pork tenderloins out and we're gonna deglaze the pan or the instant pot with some water. And really scrape down the bottom of all that goodiness. Also gonna add some ginger paste. Just one tablespoon, that should be enough. And some honey, and I mean a lot of honey. I think I squeezed about 10 times, so it's about half a cup, I think. Some soy sauce, and it will be about four tablespoons. And some ketchup manis, and I put in about five tablespoons worth of it. And some extra salt. Now mix it all together. Now we're gonna put in some garlic. We're gonna simmer this for a bit and really mix it together. And when the simmering is done, we're gonna put in our tenders and really let that become tender. It's ready to be pressurized. Now put the lid on. Put it on pressure cook on high for about seven to eight minutes. These pork tenderloins don't have to be pressured too much. Now look at that, beautiful tenders. Oh man, they're still so juicy. We're gonna cut them into pieces. It's beautiful for the plating. Now they're ready, let's plate. First our garlic honey tenders. Now some broccoli. And some delicious rosemary potatoes. Now look at that. Now some garlic honey sauce. Don't do too much. Okay, one more tablespoon then. But hey, make it how you like it. And there you go, garlic honey tenders. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the dish. Give it a like, leave me a comment. You know I read my comments and I like those. And as always, see you next time. You can also find me on Instagram, Sushi Chill and Grill. See you there.